Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Amanda here, thank you so much for coming back. Today, I haven't done one of these in a while, but I've made two trips recently to Marshall's and I had a video alone from the first trip and then we had to go back for some other stuff that I ended up not buying and I only bought makeup, but it was totally worth it because oh, I got some good stuff. So if you wanna see what I found in my recent Marshall's shopping, then just keep watching. All right, there's a lot of products. So I'm just gonna jump right in and go nice and fast. For my first products, I picked up four OPI nail polishes. I have natural nail base coat. I picked up a top coat. I picked up an OPI Infinite Shine 2, which is kind of like in a really pretty pearl iridescent shade. And then I also picked up an OPI nail lacquer and kind of like this really pretty mauve. Be really good for like transitioning from summer to fall time I thought so I was really really excited for these OPI shine this retails normally for $13 and I got it for $3.99 so this normally retails for $10.50 and I got it for $3.99 and the top coat and the natural base coat both normally retail for $10.50 and I got them both for $4.99 each. I normally use Essie a lot because I can find them a lot at Marshalls or TJ Maxx but I haven't found any recently and so I looked at OPI and I was super excited. Next I found, I have one, two, three, four, four NARS products. And the only NARS product I owned before this whole situation and I just, just recently, like within the last year, bought this. It's their Orgasm Infatuation Palette. This is the only NARS product I've ever owned. And I wasn't crazy about it. And so I haven't jumped into NARS all that much. But I was able to find a NARS concealer. And it's a stick concealer. And when I first started doing makeup, I was all about, all about stick concealer instead of like, a liquid liquid concealer see if you like it's almost like it's a lipstick and I looked out it's the perfect shade I may or may not have already like played around with it and it was perfect so this normally retails for $26 and I picked it up for $7.99 so I've heard of the brand Laura Geller a lot in the past I've never actually purchased it or played around with it but I figured hey it's on sale mine as well this is the Meet the Mobs Multitasking Cream to Powder Trio. So it's a blush palette with a highlighter. Oh, oh, like they literally feel like cream. And then when you put them on, it's powder. But it feels like cream. Eh, not so much, that first one really does. So we've got a couple blushes and then a highlighter. Those are cool and it's got a great mirror in it. Can't go wrong. So I'm like super excited for this. It's a little bit more like with the nail color. I mean, I guess I could use this one in the summer, but this for me is definitely more so a fall or a winter shade. So definitely something I'll hang on to and use a little bit later down the road. So it normally retails for $24 and I got it for $5.99. I had to double check because I was like, wait, really, really? Nope, yep. I have it right down here, $5.99. I have my box of first impressions sitting right behind the camera. So as I'm going along with it, if you see me dumping things over here, it's because they're going into my first impression bin so I can film tons more videos. All right, moving on, I have another Laura Geller product. It's the Life Glows On. This on the packaging says it's a Retail value of 55, but they're selling it for 32. Marshalls, however, said it was a compared to $10. Again, I say this in every video. Number one, make sure your products haven't been opened or, well, I mean, I guess open's okay because I always open them if no one's around. Make sure they haven't been swatched or used or broken or anything like that because you can't return makeup products. You can once you go to the line, go to the front area to buy it, cashier line, whatever you call it, I don't know. Um, they can open the products and make sure that nothing's broken if you want. I lucked out and I just took the gamble and luckily nothing was broken and nothing was swatched, so I lucked out. But this is a highlight palette. This one, ooh, Diamond Dust French 
Fizz and Opal Crush. This, it's kind of hard to tell with all the lights, but kind of has like a purple undertone, a gold, and then just a di the Diamond Dust has like, kind of like a rosy pink undertone. Ooh, that's pretty. Like I said, I've never used Laura Geller, but the one thing I did know about her, I had to look at him like, yeah, it's a girl, right? Yeah. Um, the one thing I did see from her, I just, oh, I remembered the spiral highlighters. And so that's why I wanted to give it a go. So this one definitely has like a blue undertone. Whereas here it has more like a pinky purple. So it might just be the way the lights are hitting it, but definitely cool. Definitely really, really smooth. This one, like I said, it retails normally for $32. And again, I got it for $5.99. So her blush palette was $24 and I got it for $5.99. And her highlight palette was $32. And I got it for $5.99. And it says on here, compared to $10. It's not compared to $10 because no. I mean, right here it even says $32. And then I still looked online just to verify. And yeah, so don't always follow along to what they're compared to is. Again, another advice that I have for you, it's in every video, so if you've seen this before, you sit along with me. If you have the time, get your phone out when you're there. Look up the different shades, look up the different colors, look up the different reviews, especially if there's tons of products. The last, I'd say like the last month or so, there's been like no products worth looking at at Marshalls. And so I was like, oh, okay. So they must've just had good products when they first opened. But then the last two trips I made there and they were like three days apart, I was blown away, blown away. They had tons more products too. They had a whole bunch of Too Faced products, like um, the Soleil bronzer, but I already had that. I thought about stocking up on it because it was such a good deal. I think they were doing it for like $9 and it's normally like 20 or 30, but Lord knows I have enough makeup, so I didn't. I didn't this time, but oh, seriously, people, go check out Marshalls, go check, check out TJ Maxx. Again, make sure things aren't broken, make sure things aren't swatched and like used or expired, but I have never once got a bad product. I have never once, because I'm also, like I said, I open my products, and so, when no one's around because it's like, don't swatch it, don't do anything like that. But I just like to make sure that they're not broken. Sometimes for products, I don't open it all the way, all the way. But normally if a product's broken, when you open the carton, like the packaging, you can normally tell if like, if it's a powder product, if it's been broken before. But my greatest advice for you is take your phone. Oh, I just dropped it. My best advice for you is take your phone out check your shades especially lip glosses lip shades because not everything is going to be <sighs> stickers are really de deceiving and misleading like it could show like hey it's a mauvey pink but really it's like a dark dark red like don't always go off of the stickers especially for foundations i always like to look it up and then if it's a product i kind of know about again it's summertime my kids are jumping around upstairs sorry but if it's a product that i don't know that much about i like to look up on reviews for it before I purchase it. All right, back into it. We are moving on to Becca Volcano Goddess. I just checked, thankfully it's not broken because I just dropped it. It is like, whew, reminds me a lot of Fenty's, is it Trophy Wife? That's like the super, super gold, which I really, really wanted that, but I didn't think I would like a gold highlight, but this, this is pretty. Oh. Look at that. Oh, it matches my lips back there. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And I like to diffuse my highlighters out and so it won't be as stark on my cheeks. But this would be a really great eyeshadow. This would be really pretty to put all over your body. I'm going to the beach next month and I might just have to take this to like put on my shoulders, my decollete, this area whatever that word is, I'm not smart. Um, but super excited for this. This they said compared to $12. No, this retails for $26.50 and I got it for $7.99. Becca, 
I don't even need to go to Sephora or Ulta. Like all the makeup I need is just at Marshall's down the street. And again, it's in Ontario, so I don't have to pay taxes. It's beautiful. We have Too Faced. This is the Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer infused with peach and sweet fig cream. My favorite foundation right now is the Too Faced like Peach Perfect foundation that's in this line. And so when I saw this, I was super excited. I remember thinking about buying this when it first came out and I, it's gotta just be, I mean, how is that a matte bronzer? I don't get it. There, I mean, I'm sure it's just like a spray. Yeah, like once you get into it, that gold goes away. But still, I mean, there's a highlight in it and there's blush. So those are them individually the bronzer, the highlight, and the blush that's in it, and then swirl it all together. I just think it's cute how it looks like a pie. Oh, it smells so good. It makes a really pretty color. It's not showing up very much on camera because of all the lights, but okay. I'll give it to them. It looks pretty matte once you get that glow off the top of it. I don't know why they do that. That's so random. But this normally retails for $30. And I got it for $12.99. Oh, I love the way. I don't like, I don't need my products to smell, especially because you're not eating them. But I love the smell. The scent? Yeah, let's be sophisticated and say scent. I love the scent that Too Faced always puts in their products. All right, so that was everything I got on my first trip. My first trip. Remember how I said I'm smart? That was everything I picked up for my first trip and I was just gonna be done. And then I went back. And I picked up six more products. I picked up a dual pack of Japanese Must Have Baking Brush Duo. I have a new makeup coming, makeup brand, um, and they're all cream based. And I don't have very many cream brushes, especially because I kinda need some that are gonna be like just dedicated to this palette that I have coming. It's called a mascara. I'll film a video on it once it gets here, which now that I think about it, I haven't gotten like any notifications on it. But they're kinda just, ooh, it's got a cool shape to it. Oh my gosh, the packaging. Let me have it. I wanna say Japanese. I think you can get it at Walmart. Or Rite Aid um, I know I've seen it before but they both kind of have like a really cool little angle to them if you see they're really soft it normally retails for $17 and I got them for $9.99 so about five bucks a piece which I'm not mad at that not mad at that at all all right so I think this is gonna be my new favorite mascara because I cheated and I played with it yesterday it is the Buxom Big Tease Plumping Mascara. The only thing I will say about this, and I put a ton on, but no, I really didn't. It just kind of bled all over my face, but I was super hot yesterday. I didn't really have any makeup on or powder. I just kind of had some mascara on, so maybe that's why, but like the size of this mascara. I mean, not that this one's small, but like it's huge. Um, it is, I love this, do you call this a spoolie too? I love it, it's kind of like tapered and it goes down, it goes big to small. I love this, I will have to show you in a video coming up. This made me look like I had fake lashes on. It not only gave me a volume, gave me length. <laughs> I miss a <like> girl. <laughs> ah, um, this is great. I'll show you in a video coming up, but super excited for this. This normally retails for $22. Got it for $5.99. I like it a lot. All right. Now for another NARS product. This, when I saw this and I like was like, oh, what is this? And so I'm reading it because sometimes like the descriptions are like, what? Okay. Sun wash diffusing bronzer. And then it says it in a different language. And then I looked at the shade. Laguna. It's the iconic Laguna bronzer from NARS. Oh, the packaging is just, so, it's like a matte. I don't know. It's beautiful. You know what I'm talking about. Laguna bronzer. This 
retails for $40. They say it compares to $32, which that's not too far off. $40. I paid $16.99. I think this is the most expensive thing that I bought. Yeah, it is. But it's NARS Laguna bronzer for $17. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I was so excited. So excited. Like, that is a perfect, 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 perfect bronzer for me, especially in the fall. <laughs> Look at how bad my tan line is. Oh, especially like in the summer. No, especially in the winter and fall when I'm not as tan. I'm so excited. Like, so excited. All right, next I have the Kat Von D Liquid Lip Everlasting Liquid Lip in the shade. I don't even know. I'm going to say. Melancholia? I have no clue. Hopefully you can read that. It's a bright pink, like super, super bright pink. I put it on and like, I know their makeup on when I put it on, I was just like, cool. But this would be a really, really, really good color. Like to put in the center of your lips. Um, it's, or if like you have a dark lip liner on and it's Kat Von D, like, I kind of think she's iconic for liquid lips. When I think of liquid lips, Obviously now I think of Kylie Jenner, um, even though I don't really like her liquid lips, but Kat Von D, in my opinion, did it first, did it right. Now, do I like Kat Von D? Do I buy her products? I mean, obviously I did. Do I buy her products at like Sephora? No, no I don't, no I don't. But hell, this was, I paid $5.99 and it retails for $20, so I'm not about to mess up a good deal. So, super excited for that. Now our last two products are both NARS. This, oh, oh, just like, look at it. It is like the prettiest nude, really sheer, really sheer pink gloss. Here, I'll put a little bit more on. So smooth. It lasted really well on my lips. So good. Like here, let me swatch. Whatever this pink shade is, I'll swatch this one too for you. Like, look at how bright that is. It's crazy. But liquid lips, you can do for a lot of things. So maybe I want to use it as blush. Who knows? I mean, I'm not going to, but we'll see. Um, so these, I had this on and then I put this over the top and that was really pretty, even though this was just too crazy pink for me to wear on its own. But again, can't go wrong for the prices. This NARS lip gloss, oh, in the shade, why? Like, I know how to read Istria, I think, something like that. Yeah, let's just call it Asteria. Ooh, is it Asteria? Istria. Sure, who knows? I promise you I'm smart. I just have some chapstick on right now, but it's like a lip, a tinted lip balm, but I'll just throw some of this on over the top. Cause I love how smooth it is. And there is a little reflex in there. Not gritty at all, super smooth. Barely, like the glitter barely shows up. So, I mean, I'm over 30. Should I be wearing glitter lips? No but they make it so I can. This NARS lip gloss normally retails for $24 and I got it for $7.99. Last but not least, this was not at all what I was expecting when I read it, highlighting blush powder. Hence why I didn't have my phone out with me, but hence why you should have your phone out with you. I opened it just to make sure, like I opened it this far in this store to make sure like there wasn't powder all over the place to make sure it wasn't broken. But NARS always packages its products really good and so, I was confident that I didn't need to open it, open it. Had I opened it, I don't know if I would have bought it. I mean, it's pretty, but it's called a highlighting blush powder in the shade Albatross. What, what's blush about this? It's a straight up highlight. Like maybe they do it as like a blush topper. Maybe that's what they mean. It's a really pretty white with like a gold shift to it. A little bit more wearable than um, the two gold highlights. I have three. I got three 
gold highlighters, Laura Geller, and then the other one from Becca. But this one's a little bit more wearable. It's got a really nice like yellow gold shift to it. So I don't regret buying it. I think it's really pretty. It retails normally for $38 and I got it for $9.99. So I got a crazy good deal on it. And again, it's NARS. Like in my opinion, NARS is iconic, even though I haven't owned very much NARS. NARS is iconic. All right, that is it. My trash can is overflowing. I can't stand my children jumping up and down anymore because I'm sure you guys can all hear it. So let's get down to the nit and gritty. If I was to buy this at Ulta or Sephora or their normal websites where you can purchase them from, I would have spent $344 before tax, before shipping and handling because Lord knows I don't actually shop in store. I shop online, so you have to pay shipping and handling, blah, 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 blah. But I would have paid $344 for all of this. Instead, I paid a whopping $115.85. And it was all in Oregon where there was no taxes. So, woo, boom. That is a total saving of $228.15. That's like a 60, 65% savings, right? Something, math, hard, something around there. 60, 65% off. That's beautiful. I can stand behind that. I'm so excited. Like, I got four NARS products and a Kat Von D and Laura Geller and Becca and Too Faced. Like, it wasn't like I just was getting Maybelline and Elf and CoverGirl because they have that stuff too. Which if it's something that I know I really like and it's a really good deal, then I pick it up. But I didn't need any of it. So I just went to the high-end stuff and it paid off. Like it paid off. $230 in savings. That is crazy. Something I can stand behind. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Make sure you like and subscribe, 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 subscribe why has this become my thing but it has can you tell that i've been drinking an energy drink i feel like i'm losing my mind it is wednesday i don't know when this video is going up but today filming it is wednesday i have a new puppy that needs to go get played with he and his mama bear Tulula, our one-year-old basset they're all hanging out together the boys are upstairs taking rest but apparently with the gymnastics going up their rest time is over so i'm going to go free them go get the house finished cleaned up and maybe I'll do something fun today. Maybe not. Maybe I'll go back to Marshall's. You never know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.